On January 1, 2024, the Madonna summoned the pilgrims gathered in Medjugorje to the Hill of Apparitions, and thousands attended this extraordinary event ordained by heaven. The anticipation was evidently immense, as never before had the Madonna in Medjugorje arranged such a meeting with the pilgrims. In the message of December 31st, through the visionary Maria, the Madonna had promised a gift for those who would come to the site at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and so it happened. The Madonna, as reported by Maria, one of the six visionaries who still have daily apparitions, came joyfully. She prayed for us and for our intentions. Then she thanked us for responding to her call and praying for her intentions. Then came the decisive passage. You and your children and your children's children will not regret it. End of the message. The Madonna came therefore joyfully as Maria tells us, and this is a positive fact just as it is positive that the Queen of Peace prayed for all the people present and for their intentions. Then she thanked us for responding to her call. Now usually, the Madonna gives thanks at the end of each apparition. On this occasion however, she did it at the beginning. This could mean that the Madonna particularly cared about this appointment because, as she will say immediately after, those present were able to pray for her intentions. But the question is, why did the Madonna need the prayers of the pilgrims and why for three hours? For those who follow the messages of Medjugorje, it is easy to understand how these prayers served Mary for a very specific purpose, to destroy Satan's plans devised against humanity, that is, against each one of us. Throughout the centuries the Madonna has always warned us of the dangers that loomed over humanity, and she has always done so well in advance. Just look at the recent past on the war front. Evidently Satan now unchained, had been and was devising a diabolical and destructive plan for our times, which only with the strength of prayer could the Madonna counteract. That is why she summoned us at the beginning of this new year, asking us to pray together. Moreover, in a time of great divisions with prayer, we can say that we have helped the Madonna hinder Satan's plan against us. And this is the good news. The unfortunate news is that Satan will not sit idly by and will soon come back with the help of his followers. That's why it is crucial to persevere in prayer every day, never getting tired. But the extraordinary, incredible, and at the same time moving thing, is that this gift, heaven has not only bestowed it upon those present but also to future generations, at least three generations, our children and the children of our children. But what spiritual gift is it? The Madonna did not specify but with the help of the Holy Spirit we can easily figure it out. What is the greatest spiritual gift that is disappearing from the earth and made Jesus ask his disciples, but when the Son of Man comes will he find faith on earth? You understood correctly, the gift that the Madonna wanted to guarantee us, is the gift of faith. In this time of great apostasy, faith will be severely tested. Many people will lose it, and many have already lost it. And we know very well that once the lamp of faith which emits light is extinguished, darkness takes over. And this can also happen in our lives. However yesterday, the Madonna assured us of the precious gift of the oil necessary to keep our faith alive as well as the faith of our children, and the children of our children. Thanks to that oil, an extraordinary gift from heaven, we will be able to overcome the difficult times that lie ahead. Spoiler, before closing, the final battle against Satan will be won by the Madonna, but we already knew that, praise be to Jesus Christ.